Hey guys, how's it going? Out here painting traps today. Getting ready for the Illinois convention. Just got over with the Missouri. I'd like to say thank you to the Missouri Trappers Association. Another great show. But I've painted our conibears and uh, we had a lot of questions what we used to dip our conibears in. We didn't have an answer till today. But I'm... There's our conibers. And we get a lot of questions how fast does this dry? It only took me about 35 minutes to dip all these. On the right days, now you'll still have some wet spots like around the rivet, around there, stuff like that. But for the most part, you get a good day, they dry pretty quick. But what I did is I took a 10 gallon trash can. That'll fit everything up to the the taller 330s. I'm gonna uh, dip one right here quick if it works out for me. Get a hook. Sorry guys, just whipping you around like crazy. Now if I can get that round trigger down. And I always use a piece of wire and just, you can give it a little push. There ain't a whole lot of paint in there. But yeah, 10 gallon trash can will dip your 330s. I just left it about 7, 8 inches tall. Works pretty slick. Then when you're done, just dump it back in your five-gallon bucket. Seal her up. Yeah, Missouri Convention's probably going to be the last one for the year for us. Maybe. I don't know yet. We got a lot of stuff going on. I will have some Sleepy Creek Coil Spring Traps at uh, Illinois. Uh, 18 number three offsets. A dozen number four regular draws and a half dozen number four offset. I'll flip. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Hope that helped you guys. We had a lot of questions about what we used to dip our conibears. We didn't really have an answer. I used to just spray paint all mine, but this year we had enough extra paint. We just went ahead and did them. 10 gallon trash can from Dollar General, eight inches tall. You gotta do them one at a time, but it works. On to the next.